What's going on guys? Appreciate you stopping in. Whenever I made a video recently about someone the Jets should add, linebacker, safety, Dalvin Cook, DeAndre Hopkins, right? One of the top comments is we should beef up the offensive line instead. And while I always agree with that sentiment, offensive line uh, is the foundation of your team. I hadn't really seen players available, free agent, trade candidates that made sense uh, for a fit to bring them here until Kevin Dotson came on my radar, offensive guard, Pittsburgh Steelers. And I've been seeing a lot of uh, Steeler bloggers, uh, YouTubers, content creators, beat writers talking about him as a potential trade candidate after the team made a huge investment bringing in um, Isaac Semialu from the Eagles. Then they brought in Nate Herbig, former Jet, for depth at the position. Looks like he's being phased out. Well, number one, why is that? You know, you're not getting Alan Fanica traded to you in June, July, right? Uh, he struggles as a run blocker. He's okay as a run blocker. And last year, penalties really became a problem. Uh, but for his career, penalties aren't too bad. But last year, up to 12 penalties, which is crazy. Uh, can't have that. If he's going to keep doing that, then it's a non-starter. But he uh, analytically, and again, I haven't watched his film, so this is casual take here, right? This is a two-minute Google search uh, <laughs> rundown on this player. But whether you look at PFF grades or uh, DVOA or pressure rate allowed or, or sacks allowed or pass rush win rate against, all of these metrics, him combined over the last three years, he grades out better than any Jets offensive lineman they've had, uh, even AVT as a pass blocker. And look, I know we're all banking on a, uh, a bounce back season from Lake and Tomlinson, but what are we basing that on? Just the fact that we hope it happens? It's just, eh, he can't be any worse, right? Well, look, if he's playing like he did last year, um, I'll tell you that we're not winning a Super Bowl. It's just straight up. You cannot go into a season leaking uh, a turnstile at one of your spots when we already have questions at both of our tackle spots and um, center is kind of up in the air too. So I know the Jets have some pretty good interior offensive line depth. You know, Connor McGovern, okay, could he play guard? Well, I mean, he lost his starting job at center. Now he's going to move uh, positions at 31 years old. That's not really a great solution to me either. And Wes Schweitzer, he's a backup. Billy Turner, he's a backup. So I think it, it, it'd be a little bit overkill. I get it on the offensive line, but if we're going to overspend uh, and overinvest in one area, and that assures you that, you know, push come to sub, you have two uh, really good pass protecting guards to kind of keep the interior pressure uh, off of Aaron Rodgers' back. And then if you trade for him and Lakin Tomlinson bounces back and, and he's a backup and it costs you, I don't know, whatever, a day three pick, or it costs you what, Denzel Mims in something, Bryce Hall in something, look, those. <laughs> It just takes one GM. It just takes one GM. You know, Jordan Willis and Steve McClendon and Blake Cashman got traded for picks. So GMs will be interested in those guys. And if we could flip them and maybe some small draft capital to really solidify this offensive line and raise the floor of what it could be, because that is my fear. If you tell me there's one position group that's going to undermine this Jet season, it's not the running back room, even though I want Dalvin Cook. It's not the receiver room, even though I want um, DeAndre Hopkins. To be honest, it's not even the safety room because of how good our corners and pass rush are. It's that offensive line, man. It's that offensive line. And teams in our conference that have fallen short, Bills, Bengals, it's their offensive line. The two teams in the Super Bowl last year, they were stacked all over the place. Of course, I get that. But they also had the two best offensive lines um, in their conference, respectively. So, Kevin Dotson, I'm interested. We'll talk all soon.